what is going on guys fuck sweet here in today's video we will be going over the new greenville update yes i haven't said that in so long but first we're going to start with the features and then i'll glance over the cars because i'm not going to review every single one as you know i don't do that anymore so let's get straight into it Alrighty, as you see right behind me, this is the new Tires Plus. Yes, you can change your wheels, and yes, you can fix your tires here. And what do I mean by fix my tires? Well, I'll showcase that. Also, when you see when I get into the vehicle, basically, there's a new button to turn your vehicle on and off. So, if you go into the settings, engine always on, I put that to no. And then auto hold braking it ba basically holds your brakes when you're at a complete stop for you so you don't have to hold it so your car won't roll very useful feature but you can either press f to turn your car on or press this power button i'm going to press f and your car turns on now if you hit a curb too fast your wheel actually pops your tire now i am in a big truck so this might take a little bit more time but let's try it as you see, I got pretty much almost all of my tires. You'll see once I get on the ground that I pop most of them. So as you see, you can hear it grinding on the ground. It's basically my rim grinding on the ground. It messes up braking too. So basically, you can do a role play here where you either get your tires fixed or you can do it yourself. So I'm going to pull the truck onto the bay and fix it myself. Alrighty, so you do have to be a Tires Plus worker because it gives you this drill. So all you gotta do is come up and wait for the blue box. You wanna click the tire. You see it fixes it up and you see this side's, you know, leaning over. So I gotta fix this one. I gotta fix this one. And I think this one. And just like that, you're back to normal. You get in your car, start it up, and you can leave out. Oh yeah, speaking of tire shop, yes, you can change your rims. So we're going to go into the rim section. I'm not sure if you need like the premium customized pass for this, but I'm assuming you do. I'm not sure. But as you see, you have plenty of options for wheels. I'm just going to change my wheels real quick. And the price does differ between wheels. Some could be like 5,000, 2,000, 3,000. You know, some are manufacturer wheels, like some Volkswagen wheels are in here. I'm just going to put these on just for a test. And as you see, it changes on your vehicle, and of course, your rims now change to custom. So, um, yeah, that's how the rims feature works. I think it's a cool option. And no, this isn't the only amount of wheels that we're getting. We will be getting more later. That's based on the information that I simply just know. So, yeah, let's move on. All right, now we have something new for those people who love doing police role plays or, you know, EMS role plays also. So, if you press 7, then you can find where you want to place it either on this side if the criminals coming this way and then you left click and then yeah i'm not sure if it'll work on my own vehicle but we will try it okay now we're going to test it let's see if it works on my own vehicle so it does work on my own vehicle as you see not gonna do some arab drifts as you see it popped all four of my tires and the max speed i can go is 40 and it's very much uncontrollable and you know good luck gaining speed because the cops will avoid it but you know you probably won't be able to so 20 miles per hour seems to be our max and yeah it's just overall not going well so spike strips work really good and also while we're at the ems stuff let's go over the revamped tools or re you know redone so the cone has been redone it now shows where your cone's going to be placed so you can get really precise with it now so let's place one there there's also an animation for it and then you know you could place a second one um it's kind of weird you can't put them like next to each other now so put another one right there um put another one and you know it just keeps going on you can get really accurate with this especially if you want to do a construction rp in your rp server then you can also walk up to pick them back up. Now, this is pepper spray. Yep, so this is some sort of pepper spray. I'm guessing it's a new tool to take down criminals. They also apparently redid the pistol and taser. So here's the new gun model. Is the sound the same? Oh, your hands actually jerk back now. Really cool. 
really really cool taser um the model looks the same but you know i'm guessing it just works now let's see the stop sign okay same thing there but yeah this is pretty cool but now we're gonna go over the ems changes so let's get straight to that since we're on our way back to the ems place let's go over the new lighting setup at fox mountain lights so as you see fox mountain banks right here here's the new lighting setup now this is pretty interesting because now when you're turning left you have your own individual light so you don't have to wait for their straight to turn left as you see it's flashing yellow which means it's probably about to change i'm gonna back up as my car is probably affecting that but as you see they're all about to turn red you see it's red for a red arrow red for those and then this side can now go um yeah so pretty cool concept and i think i discovered actually i don't think this is a bug i think they did this on purpose so don't report this in bugs it's probably just saying that there's a divider so yeah that's overall really really good now we're gonna head to the ems and actually show off the tools another cool feature that i discovered once coming to the ems place is this kind of radar thing and speaking of radars, police now have radars, which I didn't show off, but I'll get to it. So basically, you know, speed limit's 45, and it's going to show your vehicle speed. It even works on your character, so my character clearly runs at 11 miles per hour. Now, if I go over it, I'm not sure if it does anything, but it basically shows your vehicle speed. So we're going to speed past it. As you see... You can see i'm going over the speed limit and it tells you to slow down on both of the signs it'll tell you to slow down alrighty so in this update i already showcased the feature where you can either turn your vehicle on manually or it automatically turns on automatic brake holding so basically when you hold your brake at a light like once you're completely stopped it'll hold the brake for you so we're gonna get in start up this beautiful carrera gt and as you see once i stop I'm not touching my brakes it's just holding it there for me i accelerate it's instant so you know there's no delay between it so that's a really good feature then this of course has a retractable wing and it has no traction control so it might be a little slippery as you see i popped the tire also so yeah it's another cool feature another change is nice but simple is the reset screen animation so basically your screen turns red just like that and yeah now there are also a few small changes to note ems now have a stretcher tool for carrying people around which i couldn't figure out exactly um els gli is now smaller and draggable Brighter ELS on emergency vehicles. It's basically about that video that I thought was a secret update, but wasn't a secret update. Um, small improvements to electric RPM readouts on advanced gauges, so they probably look more realistic. Fix some more car bugs. And yeah, I'm just going to do a quick check over to make sure I didn't miss everything. There's basically a speed radar too, but um, yeah, you've seen that already working in action. It's not like a tool. You already have it. And now we're going to go over the cars. I'm not going to review every single one of them. We're just going to glance over. So let's get straight into it. Alrighty. So like I said before, we have a total of 29 new cars and basically some remodels to some. So I'm just going to glance over each trim. I'm not going to read out everything because this would take a while. So just try to keep up with the pace and pause if needed. So this 67 Camaro got a remodel with new trims like the base and such. As you see. Oh, wow. Next, we have the Toyota 4Runner or Highlander. I'm sorry. I forgot the name of this model. Um, you got some new trims. SR5 Sport is the one I might buy. Maybe the base. Okay, got this Subaru, got the L trim, GT, S, S premium, yeah, five spoke, six spoke, 
etc. You got this Saturn Saturn Ion, I think. Got the L321. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Got the uh, Ford Explorer Cross Trek or something like that. I forgot the name. Um, XLS two door looks very weird. These two door trims look very weird. This looks somewhat normal. Um, yikes, these trims are killing me. But um, yeah, that's about it. Next we have the Paul Walker. I mean, Cura GT. So I bought this car. So if you want to review this, let me know. Got multiple wheel options also. Oh, you could change the locks color. Nice. Next, you have another Saturn Ion. It's just a newer year. One, three, two, one. They added new music to the dealership. Okay, I like that. Next, we have the BMW E60 remodel. Got the 28XI, 28i, 35i, and performance. They added new music. I'm digging it. Ooh, I like this song. Okay. Um, got the 2012 GMC Yukon, SLE, Denali Hybrid, Denali, Denali XL, SLE XL, SLT1 XL, SLT1, and then that. You got the uh, Karma, not Rivero, not Karma Rivero, but uh, Fisker Karma. So it's the base. And then you have the Cadillac Escalade, base, platinum XXT, base XXT, platinum premium, base hybrid, platinum hybrid, premium extended, base. Now we have the 2012 Mitsubishi Galant. Yeah, ES, FE. Rally art, which seems like it has tinted everything. These windows on this car look a lot more realistic and different. SE. This car looks like it wouldn't be in Greenville. If you get what I mean, you might notice it. You may not. Now, for this Camaro, there's only a new trim. So it's the Block CB edition. Has some spoilers and stuff. It's not a limited. Then you have the Fire Rims edition another ss model and yeah the rest of the trims are the same next you have the 2013 ford focus se electric titanium sel st which i am returning focus gang back to greenville so stay tuned for that only ogs remember focus gang but don't act like you knew it when you really didn't if you know focus gang you know focus gang se electric that's it next we have another karma this might be the rivero i'm not sure though so we have the base that's it you have the cadillac uh xls i'm guessing that's the name xts i think luxury platinum v sport all wheel drive all wheel drive luxury platinum all wheel drive luxury v sport yeah Next, we actually passed over the Chevy Cruze and three other vehicles. I don't know how I did that. So, Chevy Cruze L, LS, LTZ, Eco, Diesel, LT. Now, I'm guessing a new trim for this, which is the Ghost. As you see, it's still an undercover car at the end of the day, so you're not really hiding much. Next, we have the Dodge Viper. I've been waiting for this. So I bought mine in yellow in a GTS. They also have ATPR and then ATP, which is ACR and then ACRR, I guess. I don't know what the other letter is. Next, we have the Ford Focus RS and other trims. SC, SCU with Sport Package, Electric, Titanium, SCL, ST, still looks really good on this year rs the trim that everyone's probably going to be going for at least a good amount 
next we did the karma we did the cadillac now we have the xts limo as you see right here next we have range rover uh uh velar it has more trims and such which i didn't know about actually our dynamic this looks like it was in game i'm not sure though but basically one new trim which is this base model looking one next we have a audi uh a6 all road i'm guessing premium plus premium plus oh wow this actually looks pretty good though for all road um but yeah that's all the trims next we have the audi a and s lines of cars so as you see it's the a class i'm an a6 more a6s more a6 oh wait this is where the s starts so black optic they did not drop the rs6 so don't ask me um yeah that's about it now we have the a6 sedan and s6 sedan let's keep going yeah this doesn't have that much trims either but the black optics too looked actually really nice where is it yeah this actually looked really nice now we have the ghost trim for this as you see it's just the sticker and such probably better performance i don't know um next we have the ghost for this i'm guessing does this have a ghost oh metro police right i read that wrong sorry next we have a limited time car so go ahead and get any of these six by sixes they're all limited time until tomorrow at 4 p.m cst or was it 3 p.m cst i'm gonna check real quick yes it is 4 p.m cst which would be 5 p.m est and then uk time you gotta transfer it i'm sorry um there's also a bunch of these so you can get the ghoul too and then the shrad spec next we have the lincoln navigator a lot of people have been waiting for this one i just don't care about it standard black deluxe edition grand grand monochrome special edition that's it for that version then we have the limo we have the limousine black and then other crazy names two trims for this they're both expensive i'm not buying one because i don't have enough friends for a limo price next we have a new range rover so we have the s r dynamic and that's it next we have a n trim for this car where is it in line that's about it that's all that changed cool next we have a Volkswagen tig one got the s s e s e l S E S E R line black. Sorry. This is the trim I would probably buy. So yeah. We have the e-tron GT, another hyped up car, yet overrated. Premium plus RS body grill color prestige, etc. Not bad. Oh, wow. Next we have the Jeep Grand Cherokee L. Laredo Altitude Country Summit. I think I bought the Summit trim. Yeah. Summit Reserve. There's even more trims. Next, we have the Western Motors Synth. So you have the truck versions and you also have SUV versions, as you see. And the faces change throughout the models you get. So keep that in mind. Um, Yeah, not bad. Next, you have the synth sheriff. Um, a lot of RP servers are gonna ban that, so you have the same thing, but WSP wrap. You have another limited time car, which is KSI's Aventador. As you see, this is his customization for his car. It's not bad. Um, 500k, and it goes away 4 p.m. CST. So grab it. That's it for the cars, and that's pretty much it for this update video. Now, if I missed anything, let me know in the comments and I'll be able to type those in a pinned comment in the comments and then I'll pin it. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoy this Greenville update and yeah, let me know how you feel about it. This has been Vuxery and I am out.